everyday woman, woman, woman. Welcome to every way. Yeah, yeah. I'm living my life, 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 living day by day. Yeah, yeah. Are you in every way, woman? Welcome to every way, woman. My Facebook mommies group was all astir the other day, wondering if stay-at-home moms are wasting their education. Stacey, I'm going to check in with you because you're a career woman now, but there was a that time is. you were staying at home, correct? Yes, but it wasn't by choice. Okay. I actually got laid off when I was eight months pregnant, and so I had to stay home. But to your question, um, there's nothing wrong with staying home if that's your choice, educated or not. Um, and I don't think education goes to waste, particularly if you're a mom. So to your question, but yeah, I do. Absolutely, and I think it depends on your family situation as well, because in my particular case, my background in education really helped me advocate for my children. So by staying at home, I could provide my experience and education to help them in school and get the best services they possibly could need. Oh, so. what do you think of over well, the Madison? <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm a um, if you don't use it, you lose it. Mm -hmm. And okay. also, if you, um, education is wasted if it's not applied. So, but does it does that translate into? Well, 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 so, <laughs> so can you? I mean, can you apply it I mean, to your children? Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. I mean, educations mm -hmm. are designed to yes, be right. well rounded, so it can make you very organized. Yes. It can make you make good use of your time. Absolutely. Be accountable for things. Well, let me ask you this, Madison. Do you mean have an adult conversation? Because that I can support. I mean, if you are educated, you have a degree, and all day long you're looking at Sesame Sesame Street. <laughs> right. That's one thing. Um, but if you're having intellectual dialogue, that's another. So what's your point? Which okay. one is it? So it, it's, well, it, it's kind of, it's a little bit of both. Because I do think that if you're, ed yes, education all around. If you get educated, that's absolutely fabulous. However, um, it's what goes into mothers once they become stay-at-home moms. Because it's not always by choice. Right. Sometimes it's about having family. And family dictates mm -hmm. what direction you're going to go. Oh, sure. Okay. Right? So Just what, like, but don't you feel like um, you're losing yourself with your children? <gasps> like... But yourself. but then do you, wow. but, but are there other people who <laughs> well, lose themselves? Okay, okay. Well, I'm asking you because I'm curious. I don't mean to offend anyone, no. especially somebody that's watching. You know. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I know probably everybody's. I don't have children, so right. everybody's probably gonna hate no, me at this moment no, right no. now. But I am so anti. I feel like it is a waste because. I, well, I mean, I I yes, I can see your point of view, and I, I understand that. And at some point, I think a lot of times mothers feel that way. They right. feel like they they've become lost. In their in children. Their children. But, Correct. But you know but what? It, I have a lot of friends who work in the industry, and they lose themselves in their career. You know, that, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, they point, move yeah. along, and and they they don't have any family. They don't have you know they don't have a good network around them because they were too busy working. Well, I, I mm -hmm. think too, if you use your education and your expertise, you've got the internet. The kids go to bed. They take right. naps. You know, you have, they have play dates. You can go blog. You can stay yes. informed. You can use oh. your, another medium. You may not go Hold the up. direction you wanted to. But, but you got to stay. Because I think that <laughs> well, you touched a nerve there. Yeah. I think society, it's acceptable to lose yourself in your career. But to say that you're taken away from your children, you know, that's where you get those fighting words. Well, and I go to speak to the education those. point because as parents, we're supposed to be end all to be all for our children. And I'm with Madison on that. At some point, we have to show them forward progression. Well, so that's exactly. Why education and, is important. Exactly. And to show them education is important. Right. And how you use it may change, but it's still there. Well, I guess right. I'm alone on this because I'm not a parent. I don't uh -huh. have children. But all I do know is that if. I mean, with children, I want to be able to do half the things. I do. Well, the, yeah, <laughs> it's the truth of having children. children. Yeah, that I is the truth. Don't sleep. So but it just changes. That's, that's, that's the point. Is, is whatever you, you your talents and your background is, it changes. You can morph it into something else and include your family. Well, but I'm pro not having children okay. right now. So. Well, there's a right time for everything. Those things, like when do you when you get to that right, point where right, you want right, children? Right. When I get there, I just don't want to lose myself. I, I understand that. It's just what I was thinking when I said that earlier, what I meant is there are a lot of women who go out, they, they're very highly educated, and then they have their families, and then they feel like they have to let go of themselves in order to raise focus. their family. See? And I agree that the focus shifts, but that doesn't mean that you let go of your education. It doesn't mean that you let go of who you are and what moved you forward. Well, there are I, ways to stay connected to what it is that, how many right. of you actually, right. how many people do you know that went and got a college education? 
that are actually doing what they got their degree for. Absolutely, things change all the time, right. and right. You, yeah. you can always refresh your skills. You mm -hmm. you can keep your skills updated at all times. So you know, it, just because you're not using it at that moment, uh, what you went to school for, doesn't mean you can't use it later or transition it into something else. But, but the most important thing is stay current. Mm -hmm. See, what happens is when we we stay at home, our mothers stay at home, and then we lose. Um, whatever our skill set. So I would tell every woman, if you're going to do current. that, stay current, right. stay abreast, study your craft. That, that, you and, definitely and had a point. We have so Stacey much. On that. And I would we, hate we, for somebody to not get an education because they had the preconceived notion that it wasn't worth it absolutely. and wasn't a good we thing. We have so much to talk about in this conversation, so don't go away. When we come back, we'll have more discussion on it. Oh. That's a good point. Exactly. Coming up next, more Every Way Woman. Are you in every way woman? You in every way, woman. This is Every Way Woman, and we're getting to know our co-host, Sunita, a little bit more. So you've always been a working mom, but now you're going to take the jump outside of the home. Why? Well, you know, um, I have always been uh, working from home, and that was a real challenge. But now I'm launching this brand new morning show. And it starts, I have to be at the studio at 5 a.m. That is early. It is so early. I, and I'm I don't not picture a you person. as a 5 a.m. girl. <laughs> but you know, I adapt and I'm going to get there. But the hard part is, you know, I'm not going to be able to see my baby in the morning. I, you're going to be missing your mommy moments. You I were am. there when he woke up. And now, you're not going to be. Uh, you know, there when he woke up, getting him ready, getting him off to preschool, and just, you know, it's such a special time to be able to set him up for his day, you know, talking to him in the car, getting him Do you have mommy guilt for this? I don't have mommy guilt because I guess, you know, we both have taken baby steps to get to this point. You know, little by little, I started out uh, working from home while he was there, and that was the biggest challenge, honestly. Uh, just yeah. trying to get stuff done when he's there, it, it was really hard to do. Then it got a little bit easier. He started going to preschool, so I had some time to focus on work. And now that he's going to preschool, you know, it, it, it's we've both transitioned to be able to do this. But I get to miss a, a big chunk of time. And you're trusting your husband to do it all. Yeah. How does this affect that dynamic? That was also a huge challenge because, um, you know, he's already busy at work. He has long hours and all of that. And then to tell him I needed him to do more, you know. Was what was start... his reaction? First? Yeah, I might not be able to repeat it on television. <laughs> okay, but, that's you know, fair. He's come along and I really appreciate it. Um, I, you know, I really value that he's taking this on and excited about it now because now he gets to have that time that he was missing. Um, so Are you going to miss the time for you that you had alone? I mean... Now you're gonna be working outside of your home. That was you time. With, for myself or yeah, with Yeah, for yourself. Um, yeah, you know, that's a challenge with moms. You know, you, you don't get your your time for yourself, you know, because you're already trying to fit in time with your husband. That's already limited. So why do this? Um, because it's exciting. I'm so excited about this morning show. Oh, I've been working for it for a really long time to get to this point. Um, and it's just gonna be a fun thing to do. So I, I'm completely ready for it. Well, we look forward to following you on your journey. Stay tuned for more Every Way Woman. When we come back, we'll be getting to know our co-hosts even more. We'll be right back. So what has it been like getting your family on board with this transition, especially your husband? Well, you know, it was really hard because it was gonna add to his, his day and his stress level. And at first he was just, he was like, no, I don't wanna do this. Mm -hmm. um, but he's really come on board. But the thing is, for most moms, the challenge is, I'm gonna have to do the prep work to get him ready so that it's as smooth and seamless as possible. So you're still actually doing it all just beforehand? Exactly, and making it as easy so he doesn't, you know, get stressed Why? out and complain about it. Do you because just not trust him to do that part? It's not the trust. He's really, he, he can do it, but you know, with moms, we always have to take on more because we don't complain. No, and your way? It's the right way, right? No, no. It, it, most of the time, <laughs> most of the time, I know you, Sunita. We'll be right back getting to know more of Every Way Woman. Stay tuned. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
And we are back with my co-host, Jeslyn, who is known for her signature salads. What are we making today? Yes, ma'am, we're making my favorite. It's a strawberry spinach salad. Strawberries are good year round here in California, so Yummy. lucky us. I brought my chef's hat, but you don't <laughs> need to be a chef to make a good salad, which is the best okay. part. So we're gonna start with the spinach. If you could chop that for me. Ooh, okay, how do I chop it though? Just, I mean, give it a good chop. Chop okay. it about into four, the whole pile. Interesting. I prefer to have salad, any kind of greens, chopped, even do this in a restaurant. You can ask them to do it in the I back. I never chop salad. This it's the different. best. You okay. get more of the extra bits in the bite, and that way you also don't have that weird like stem hanging out of your mouth. <laughs> I'm not a rabbit. I I'm don't guilty want to eat a leaf. I just want to get a few greens. Is this okay? That is perfect. Okay. So let's put that all in the salad. Okay. The great thing about salads too is that the recipe doesn't have to be exact. So these are my favorite ingredients for the salad, uh -huh. but you can add a little this and that as you prefer, okay. right? So next we're gonna add some couscous. Couscous, I, I remember having that yeah. with you so once. <laughs> I introduced Anna to couscous. She thought it was super exotic, but it's as easy as rice. All you have to do is take one cup couscous to one and a half cups of water. You're gonna cover it, let it simmer five, 10 minutes, and you've got it. I just keep it right in my fridge, already ready to go. Mm -hmm. So I can just add a little bit of this. You can also add quinoa or something like How that. How much do you put? Um, you know, as much as you like. I don't want my salad to be too grainy. Okay. So mm -hmm. I would probably put half a cup and leave the other half cup in the fridge for yourself. Got it. Then mm -hmm. I like to add some red pepper. If you want to go ahead and do that with the red pepper, we already have it diced up because I like to have some big chunks of red pepper in there. Interesting. Okay. And look how colorful it makes the salad. It does. I mean, really, who wants to eat beige? Not Is there me. a specific um, amount? No, no, okay. as much as you want. I would probably say like a quarter cup red pepper, maybe, maybe two. Then we're going to go to the chopped onion. Now, red onion is tricky because everybody's going to tell you they don't like onion. And nobody wants a big bite of onion, especially before a date. So do we put a little bit or a lot? Put it all in there because we're going to disguise it. So then just give this a good toss when we're done with it and nobody will even know the red onion's in there. It's completely disguised. So for protein, I like to add nuts. You could add chicken if you want, but I add slivered almonds. If you want to just add, maybe not all of those, just a little bit. Also gives it a little crunch. What kind of onions are there? It's not an onion, that's an almond, girl. Oh, so then okay. I add some dried cranberries. You can add, if you need trail mix or whatever dried fruit you all? have in your house, put them all in there. And my last but not least, the strawberries, the best part of the salad. Oh, strawberries with onions and red peppers. I know, who knew, right? So put it, you know, as much as you want okay. on there because you really want a strawberry in every single bite, right? Oh God, these are good, okay. They're so good. And then just a little dash of black pepper. Your favorite fat-free balsamic vinaigrette, little olive oil, whatever dressing you prefer, genius. Who knew it would be that easy to get Jeslyn's recipe on everywaywoman.com. Stay tuned as we get to know more about Every Way Woman. So I have one of these right here. <laughs> it's so good. Stay with us. We'll be right back. I'm an everyday woman, 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 in every way. Yeah, yeah, I'm living my life, 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 living day by day, yeah, yeah, are you in every way warm? Well, if that didn't make you break a sweat, we have more coming your way that'll get you pumped up with Every Way Woman. A lot of you have asked us, what is circuit training and if I can do it at home? So we brought in our fitness expert, Lisa Snow, all the way from San Diego to tell us all about circuit training and how we can do it at home. Yep. All right, so a lot of people do want to know what circuit training is. I sure do. And really what it is, is it's a set of exercises that you do. And what's important to know is that you're going to be timed while doing it. You're going to have your heart rate. It's high intensity training. And you're going to be going through different workouts. And you can repeat it or you can change on each one. Okay, so if you're at home, do you need a watch? Or can you just set a like kitchen timer? Or what do you need? Really anything that keeps time. You can look at your clock and watch the second hand just go around. It doesn't okay. really... And so, tick tock, it's going yeah, down. Just right. make sure you know how much time you're doing it. Because a lot of times I like to do a minute on, rest for 30 seconds, go to the next for a minute, and keep going on. Okay, so what's yeah. a good circuit at home that you can do? So for this, we have our BOSU and we have our dumbbells. And we also, I'm going to give you a um, body weight exercise that we're going to do. Okay. So with the BOSU, what we're going to do is we're going to start with one foot on. You're going to replace, keep your core tight. 
And you're gonna be doing this for 30 seconds. And you don't think I'm gonna hurt myself on this, right? I do not. <laughs> okay, you have faith in me, I like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm gonna like... time you in three, two, one, and go. That's okay. it. All right, keep here it I going, go. keep it going, keep the core tight. And just make sure oh, it's tight. <laughs> Good job. So we're gonna in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, good. I like that. And then you're going like to come that. right here. You're not resting for that long because we're going to go right into thrusters. In three, two, one, pick up the dumbbells and thrust and stand up and extend. Like this? Is yep. this good? Keep going. Okay, faster. Yeah, keep that heart rate up. Let's go. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> That's it. And I, make sure, even though you're still going fast and you're trying to keep going through the motions, make sure the form is correct because you don't want to hurt yourself. Yeah, what are good things to remember with the form? Because it's a lot of movement going on. Yes, with squats, you have safety? to make sure your bottom is back and down and make sure your knees don't surpass your toes. In three, two, one, and rest. Okay, yep, okay. Next That's a good thing. Workout. I'm, yep. We're done, right? Nope, we're hitting the core next. You're going to be in plank and you're going to bring your knee to your elbow each time. And then I'm going to tell you to go faster and you're going to add a hop. All right. In three, two, one, and go. There we go. And see with the circuit, you hit all different kinds of parts of your body so you get to do a full body workout. There it is. I'd love to talk, but <laughs> this is quite the And pick it up in three, two, one, okay. add a hop. Let's go. There it is. Keep it going. I'm going. <laughs> and three, two, one, and rest. <sighs> Make sure you stand up and did you get your heart rate going? It sure is. You're good? All right. I'm good. I'm good. So what you would do with that is, again, it's important to keep the time and constantly really you're moving, and but the rest is important. Don't let your heart rate come to a complete stop, but the heart rate slows down a little and bit. And how much of a rest between each one? If you're going for a minute, you can do 15 to 30 seconds in between. And how long should you keep doing this, repeating um, this? I would do three rounds. Three Some, rounds. Something like this, yeah. Oh my gosh. And I'm... in between each round, once you complete one circuit, you give yourself a little more of a rest. So if you give yourself 30 seconds in between each exercise, you give yourself a minute, and then do it all okay. over again. Now, my question in doing something like this at home, yeah, I might, you know, go to the couch because no one's looking. Yes. How do you prevent yourself from taking too long of a rest? The time. You really, it's so important to really, a stopwatch, you can get anywhere you go and just really be committed to keeping the time committed. because anytime that you are tired and you want to give up, just look down and see how much more time you have left. And if you already got that far, you can make it that much farther. Okay, so what are things like once you've got this down, mm -hmm. you know, there's only so many times you can keep going back and forth. How do you add new things in? Well, when you look up, you can look up all different kinds of exercises for each piece of equipment. Everything has so many things you can do. So really, I encourage people to see and try different things that they've never tried before. So if you already used your feet on the BOSU, you can turn it over and you can do push-ups. So why do push-ups like this versus just getting on the ground? The BOSU challenges you a lot because it isn't as stable as the ground. So it makes you use your full body okay, instead of just your arms. Out Go for it. Because, oh my gosh. <laughs> and, up. yep. Okay, that's Already definitely a, a challenge. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's good stuff. So it's different. It gives you variety and it, gives, it lets you have fun with it because really you're at home, you're the one inventing what you want to do, and you can get really creative with a circuit. Oh yes, you certainly can. But you know, I, I just love this because it's such a fun way to keep your workout moving. Mm -hmm. So thanks Lisa for uh, bringing this, and you have Thank no you. excuses to do a circuit at home. Everywhere Woman celebrates tomorrow's stars, and today we have Chicago's very own award-winning stand-up comedian, Taquita <laughs> Love, my very funny girl. So tell me, what is it like to be a woman in the man's world of comedy? Okay, well, it's it's challenging, it is. Um, How's it challenging? It's challenging because like men have an expectation of what they think women should say. Um, and shouldn't say. Yeah, and shouldn't say. We're always looked at as a sex symbol, no matter what, anyway, so... When they see us, they want us to talk about, you know, uh, sex. They want us to talk about uh, chauvinistic stuff. They want us to talk about vulgar things. And, like, if you don't do that, then you're looked at differently. Like, you know. So are you looked at differently? I am. I okay. actually, um, 
Because guys, when they see me perform, for one, the first thing is that they think that I, they never think I'm the comedian. They think that I am the girlfriend to the comedian that I'm sitting next to. Because you are sexy. <laughs> I and mean, then you do have it going on. Well, women should be sexy, right? Right. All the so time. So you don't feel like you have to play down your pretty? Uh, at times I do. Honestly, really? I want to say I do because um, it's, it's weird because like the women that are like, le I don't want to say less attractive, but the women that are very, very like, uh, like the overweight women, the like the less attractive women, then they are looked at differently. They're looked at like more serious about the craft. Oh, those and when, comedians. Right. And then when women that are um, like more, you know, more attractive, then they're looked at as like, oh, they're just trying to get into show business. They don't even care about comedy. So it's, it's, it's really challenging because I have to prove that I'm actually a comedian. I do the work, you know, I do open mics, I study, I write, you know what I mean? Like I do it and I- You're dedicated. I am and you know, so you get, that's the only way to get respect. So do you think that you've really found your niche in being funny in comedy? You know, I, I think that uh, slowly but surely it's, it's, it's becoming more vivid to me, yes. Is this your way of expressing yourself? Yes, definitely. How so? Um, you, I kind of look at it as like my Sasha Fierce. You know how Beyonce is like, she had the Beyonce and then like the Sasha Fierce. Okay. It's like what you, what everybody expects you to be. You've it's got like, your little alter ego going right. on. Right. And okay. so like, this is my chance to be like, you know, who I am inside without caring what people think. Well, let's see your Sasha Fierce. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away. Thank you. Okay, so like I said before, um, I don't know if you guys know, I'm from Chicago, and I actually, I just got back from a wedding. I came home, um, I'm just gonna say it like this. Like, I feel like some traditions just need to die. Like, whoever said catching a bouquet at a wedding means you're next to get married? Y'all, that's a lie. I've caught like 13 bouquets. <laughs> you see this? Nothing. You know what? What's worse is that I feel like weddings give you a false sense of romance, like especially for women. So we have to be careful what type of man we take with us to a wedding. I slipped up. Like I slipped up. Like I took a dude just because he was fine. But he was a sandwich specialist at Jersey Mike's. Y'all laughing. Don't trip. He had a side hustle because y'all know how women, how we love those hustlers. Uh, he sold t-shirts out of his cousin car because his car was in transition or something like that. That's what he said. But anyways, like I said, you have to be careful at a wedding because you will get caught up in the hype. You got the flower girl tossing the flowers down. You have the ring bear presenting the ring. Then all the bridesmaids look good because they got on the same color, no matter how big they are. <laughs> then all the groomsmen, all the groomsmen, these brothers look good because they have on suits. Well, let me tell you something about a suit on a man. Like a suit on a man is an instant upgrade. Like it'll take you from coach to first class immediately. <laughs> so you could be homeless with no teeth. But if you got a suit on, I might listen to what you have to say is what I'm saying. So like I said, I'm at this wedding with this fool. He has a suit on, so I automatically forget his flaws. And then now they're exchanging vows. And the bride is saying, oh, baby, I prayed for you, and God sent me my king. And the groom is saying, well, baby, when I met you, I was a boy. And because of you, I'm a man. Y'all, I'm getting so caught up in the hype. I'm looking at this fool thinking about having his babies. <laughs> Y'all, I got so caught up, I helped him sell t-shirts at the reception. <laughs> It was like, okay, one for 15, okay, 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 two for 20, two for 20. I started introducing him as my fiance. Like, Auntie Lara, I want you to meet my fiance, Jay. Oh, no, I don't know his last name. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Just the letter J, not J A Y or J A E. Last names don't always matter, do they? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Thank you so much for being with us today on Every Way Woman. We look forward to having you back. Okay. okay. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Absolutely. Every Way Woman gives back to our community. To find out how you too can donate and match our gifts of undergarments to needy children, find more information on everywaywoman.com. Thanks for getting to know Every Way Woman.
This has been an Everyday Woman production. I'm an everyday woman, 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 in every way, yeah, yeah. I'm living my life, 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 living day by day.